Hey everyone, welcome back to part 6 of the world's biggest unboxing. For this one, we'll be doing 10,000 fish, biospawn, and Carl's bait and tackle clearance section. I'm really excited for this one, as you can see we have a whole tower full of stuff. Without further ado, let's get started. For this video, I'll be rocking the Guggen Squad Bugberry Topo Clutch Hat. Mainly because it matches the overalls, but also because I feel like it kind of fits along with the whole Carl's theme. They do offer Guggen Squad baits and apparel on Carl's Bait and Tackle, so y'all definitely could go check that out. Get a sip of this coffee first. So again, we got four boxes for this one. It's going to be the clearance box. 10,000 fish, biospawn, and then this last box is a mix between biospawn and 10,000 fish, and uh, I'm not exactly sure what's in there. Anyways, let's just jump right in. So starting out with 10,000 fish. This is going to come chock full of 10,000 fish, which I'm a huge fan of 10,000 fish. I like the whole concept behind the name. I like the brand themselves. I think they also were kind of ingenuitive in some sort of ways and uh, you'll see why here in a second. So directly on top, we have the 10,000 fish cycle bait underspin, and this is essentially just gonna be like a underspin with a Colorado blade, but instead of actually just running like a normal spinner bait blade would, it kinda has these rings on it, and it's just gonna kinda just flash back and forth and create a lot of commotion in the water, so. I'm gonna just go ahead and take one of these out for you and show you what I mean. Another major plus about 10,000 fish is their packaging. So it's going to come in that uh, cardboard kind of box, but then also in sort of a clamshell. That's going to keep all of your baits just straight, nice, clean. Uh, the, the paint won't chip on the jig head. Just a lot of things. The, the blade actually won't get scratches on it. See, it's just going to stay nice and new. It has a nice sound to it. I don't know why. It sounds like jewelry, man, but looks like it too. Really nice looking color. This right here is their bluegill pattern. So it's going to have a green pumpkin head with some gold and blue fleck through it black eyes, and then a gold Colorado thumping blade. But like I said, it doesn't have a swivel on it. It just has these rings, and they're going to twist and turn. And eventually, I think they kick and then kick back once they reach a certain point that they can't keep twisting. And it's just going to keep kicking and kicking back and forth, almost creating like a hunting action side to side because that blade is knocking back and forth. And then for the keeper, it's just going to have a nice wire keeper and a lead keeper. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. You could use it on Elastec or you could just use it on normal soft plastics. And then it also has a nice looking black nickel hook that feels pretty sharp. So definitely can't complain there. This one right here is in a 3 8 ounce. Again, it's got a 3 out hook, bluegill color pattern. I picked up two of those. So two 3 8 And then I downsized. I got a quarter ounce, just a plain nice silver one. Again, 3 out hook. Same concept. And then I went up a size and got a half ounce. And this is black and blue 4 aught. So essentially what I did was go for some sort of a dirty water, stained, muddy color, and then some sort of a bluegill kind of pattern, and then some sort of a shad pattern. Next in the 10,000 fish lineup, this right here is called the Head Hunter, and it comes in some really nice interesting colors and different sizes. So you have the half ounce, and then the full ounce version. I think this is like a four inch and a one third, and then this is like a three and a quarter inch. But really nice looking colors. Again, this is sweet and sour sunfish, and then we got salt and pepper. These look like some really nice looking swim baits, so I picked up a couple of each color. And, uh, you know, just a really nice quick thing to note about it is it has this hook that's concealed in the top dorsal fin of the bluegill. And again, nice clamshell package, but I'm going to take one of these out and show you what I mean. As you can see, there's a hook hidden inside of that dorsal fin. And then once you go to set the hook, it releases and it's being held in place by a magnet. So after you catch a fish on it, you just kind of sink it right back in there. It's almost completely weedless. And it's going to really give off a lot of action with that boot tail. And it appears like the fin here has a small flange on it that will probably displace a little bit of water as well. But really nice looking colors, really nice looking bait. And again, it's just a nice looking swim bait profile for a bluegill. So you can never go wrong with that, especially if you're pond hopping like me. Most of the time, that's all I'm doing. It's just like pond hopping, looking for a big fish. And this is probably a way to get a really big bite right here. Then we have the 10,000 fish tataki frog. So this is essentially 10,000 fish's version of a topwater walking frog. The weight system's on the outside, so they say that it's supposed to help it walk better, come through cover a lot better. And um, I don't know, I guess we'll have to see about that, but I'll go ahead and take one of these out of the package just to show you what it looks like. Really interesting looking frog. I think it looks nice. I think it looks really weedless and snagless, which 
can be a good and a bad thing obviously if you're fishing like scum and lily pads you may want it to be a little bit more snagless but if you're really looking to get a good hook set i'd probably recommend bending these hooks out but really nice looking bait in terms of colors we got stone toad and white gold so just a nice looking dark kind of color and then a white kind of shad looking color another interesting take on a spinner bait similar to the cycle bait underspin right here we have the 10,000 fish cycle bait similar to a spinner bait but essentially it's going to have those rings again so it's going to make that blade kick back and forth this right here is a colorado in black and blue comes with a four aught hook this is a 3 8 ounce right here and we got it in dark june bug again four aught hook this is probably my favorite color right here this dark june bug gold and so i went ahead and picked up two of those just in case i lose one of them then a color i wish i would have picked two up of but i didn't because i was stupid is this pink lemonade right here pink lemonade with that willow blade dude this thing looks money right here and then this one comes with a willow blade combination so some of them come with colorado blades some of them come with willow blades you just pick whatever combination you want and obviously it's going to be dependent on the temperature time of year whatever whatever situation you're fishing but i just picked up an assortment so for colors in the willow blade cycle bait we got fire craw and then we got bluegill so craw representation bluegill representation and then a shad representation and that should basically get the job done for you in total we picked up six of these and i'm really interested in trying it and seeing how it works out as opposed to just a normal spinnerbait golly i'm running out of room already <laughs> lastly for 10,000 fish we have the death stalker and this is just a half ounce in that gold tiger color i'm gonna go ahead and take them out just because i feel like the packaging is kind of making things a little bit obscure so essentially what this bait is right here is it's a blade bait with a willow blade on the back so it's a blade bait with a blade <laughs> i like it i think it's going to be interesting i think it's going to catch fish i think that this blade will probably clink up against this blade and make a lot of sound and then if you want you could probably reel him in and this guy back here is just going to swim back and forth really nice looking blade bait again it comes in that gold tiger color so i'm a big fan of a gold blade bait i think it works really well in the winter time and then you're going to just have a nice black nickel treble hook down here at the bottom next we're going to move on to some 10,000 fish soft plastics first up for soft plastics we have the 10,000 fish saw craw we got summer craw and then we got smokeachobee craw and i'm pretty sure everyone has seen a summer craw at this point but i'm going to go ahead and take out smokeachobee craw because i have never seen that color pattern in my life but i like colors that are unique so whenever i saw this i immediately had to pick it up it's essentially just like one side is going to be watermelon seed and then the other side is going to be a smoke white and it's just going to have black fleck running through the entire body really nice interesting color and again it comes in some pretty sweet packaging that clamshell is really going to make every single craw bait hold up i mean literally they're all standing up straight and i'll be able to flip these turn these whichever way put them in my bag take them on the boat with me take them in my kayak whatever and they're going to hold up like way better than most packaging uh a lot of salt in them probably a lot of action as well because those craw appendages look huge huge eugene all right moving on from the saw craw we're going to take a little bit more of a finesse approach this right here is the sakoshi bug and if you haven't heard of this bait you probably have been living under a rock it's going to come with some really durable elastic stretch plastic the body does float upright so whenever you're working it on a net it's going to look a lot more realistic and the colors on it are amazing this right here is twilight and this color right here is green pumpkin orange craw now a major key i'm going to give you with these if you're still watching this video you deserve to hear this it's that they do work amazing on a ned rig but they pair even better on a jig mainly because they're going to help your jig stand up a little bit more almost giving it like a defensive style manner and in terms of a trailer it's a little bit more of a finesse approach so you're not going to disturb too many fish and the fact that it floats is probably going to help you reduce the amount of snags you have especially around like rocky areas it'll probably help keep your hook out of those like crevices between rocks but really nice looking colors again this is that green pumpkin orange craw and then we have that twilight so one side of it is going to be green pumpkin the other side is going to be white with a purple fleck and again all their baits are going to come in those really nice clamshell packaging because these baits do have some sort of max stretch plastic in them i really do recommend just keeping them in the package they come in otherwise they might melt on you goop up or like stick to other soft plastics you have and just ruin a whole batch you're just gonna have to trust me on that one and you'll thank me later the best soft plastic that 10,000 fish has to offer is the yodo worm and i legit picked up as many as i could in the finesse size and even more in the bigger size which you'll see here in a minute but 
A major reason why I picked up the finesse size is because you can be fished on a swim jig, you can pair it on a finesse spinnerbait, you can pair it on a finesse bladed jig, you can drop shot it, you can Ned rig it, you can Texas rig and flip and pitch him. There's so many ways to rig a Yodo worm. Again, I picked up as many as I could. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I probably have more somewhere in my arsenal somewhere. But for colors, just a fire craw color. I could pair on any sort of red bait. Junebug gold, really nice looking color. I really bought it because it was purple and gold. And I was like, whoa, this looks insane. But also because I could probably pair it on some sort of a finesse chatterbait. Chartreuse pepper, this color has had me captivated ever since I was a kid. Another fire craw, white silver flake, just a nice shad profile or a finesse minnow bait. Pink lemonade, this is almost like a pro blue red pearl, but this is probably my favorite color in the lineup right now. Blue craw, essentially like an Okeechobee craw, it's gonna have like this green pumpkinish watermelon seed green, and then a blue side. Black and blue flake, and I picked up another one of those Junebug golds as well. Stepping it up a size, this is the Yodo Worm 4.75 inch. Again, we got that black and blue flake, and then the pink lemonade. These are the only two different colors that I picked up other than this third color I'm about to show you. But again, really nice looking bait. I'll probably pair them on a full size bladed jig, spinner bait, a uh, swim jig, Texas rig, shaky head, drop shot, all that good stuff. Next up, I'm going to go with the Biospawn and 10,000 fish to kind of transition things. I would not be upset with the 10,000 fish sponsor. Okay. For the third color of Yodo Worm, I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of them. Oh, excuse me. Fourteen of them. There was one on my desk. But the reason why I picked up so many of these is because I got it in the green pumpkin pearl color. And that pearl side is going to essentially allow me to dip and dye it whatever color I want. Essentially, if you have a dip and glow marker, you can color in the pearl side to be whatever color you want. And then you have a really nice looking trailer for whatever spinnerbait, bladed jig, swim jig. So just to take one of these out of the package and show you what a Yodo worm is. So this right here is the 10,000 fish Yodo worm. So taking a look out of the package, it essentially just has some sort of a bait fish profile with almost like a, a worm or a minnow tail, but it's going to have this Japanese style ridges that's going to displace a lot of water and it's going to hold a lot of scent. So if you like to scent your stuff, one last thing to note that tail literally cannot stop moving. It, there we go. I finally, no, it's just going to keep shaking. Yeah. That tail puts off a lot of movement and action in the water. Um, it's not going to displace a lot of water, but it is going to sit there and just be irresistible. These type of baits are extremely popular on the market right now. If you've been keeping up with the tournament scene, uh, one of the top pros, Jacob Wheeler himself, designed a minnow that is very similar to this bait. It's essentially going to be called the Freeloader, and it's going to be a minnow style type bait that's going to be fished on a drop shot, bladed jig, spinner bait. But again, I picked up as many as I possibly could, so we got like 14 of them, and I'm sure I have more somewhere, but this again is probably my favorite bait in the entire 10,000 fish lineup. So whenever I saw the opportunity to snag a bunch, I did not hesitate. Just pick up a 10,000 fish Yodo worm and pair it up on a chatterbait and tell me you don't catch fish. I picked up two of these fishing kit boxes and I'll probably end up doing some sort of a challenge or a giveaway. So y'all just stay tuned for that. Next up, making the transition from 10,000 fish to biospawn, we have the vile bug and we picked up like seven of these packages, but really six of them are all the same color and it's going to be an Okeechobee craw. So this is going to be like a green pumpkin and then the back side is going to be a blue fleck just running through it. Really nice looking color. It's probably going to be perfect for flipping and pitching baits. Uh, a Texas rig. It's really going to imitate a bluegill profile almost perfectly. The only other color I could recommend you is going to be white silver flake, mainly for bed fishing and sight fishing. So these are four inch baits, so they do have that full body profile. And we picked up seven packages that come with seven in there. So seven times seven, we got like 49 of these. Next up, we got exopods and I picked up four packs of these. And to be a little bit redundant, I got two packs in the Okeechobee craw color. And then this color right here is going to be candy grass. And then we got June bug. Again, we picked up four packs and they come with seven each package. So we got 28 baits. Third bait on the lineup, we got the Biospawn Vilecraw. And again, we got it in that white silver fleck. It's going to be perfect for sight fishing and bed fishing. And really nice, interesting thing about this bait. If you see the middle appendage there, it's going to have a small little knob on it. So it's going to displace water and kind of knock through the water column along with the two flapping appendages. This bait right here does resemble a similar JDM bait that I'm aware of. Uh, it's made by Jackal. Not exactly sure on how to pronounce the name. I believe it starts with like an A. But this is a more affordable version and it comes with more to the package. So I'm not complaining. Plus the colors are really nice. You could essentially just rip off the two claw appendages here and fish it like a small finesse drop shot bait if you wanted. There's many different ways to fish this guy and rig him. You could use him as a trailer on many different baits. But you could also just flip and pitch him as is or downsize him into a finesse profile like we talked about earlier. 
Alright, time to open up the full sized biospawn box. Alrighty, to continue on with biospawn here, we have the vial tube, and essentially this is just their take on creating some sort of a tube bait. But a couple things to note the side appendages here do have some sort of wings or flappers on it that are going to help it glide and spiral through the column on a fall. Really nice looking colors as well. So this right here is going to be that twilight color that I mentioned earlier in the Sakoshi bug for 10,000 fish. So kind of interesting to see that they have a 10,000 fish color and a biospawn color that are the same. But I'm a huge fan of it. Again, it's got that green pumpkin with the purple fleck running through it. Then the other side is going to be a pearl and a silver fleck running through it. I'm a huge fan of ingenuity. So whenever I saw this bait, I really wanted to try it as opposed to a normal tube style bait. Some other colors I could recommend are going to be the green pumpkin orange tail. The side's going to have a nice green pumpkin. The other side's going to have a nice fire red, almost orange kind of craw. And then we have smoke gold purple fleck. So it's just going to have a full smoked out body with gold and purple fleck. Pretty self-explanatory. Another quick thing to note about this tube is it appears like here they have slots for your jig head to come through. So if you're fishing it with a tube jig, it should pair perfectly. I don't know what it is, but it feels like it's kind of difficult to get your hands on a good tube nowadays. Still staying on the topic of finesse, we have the plasma tail worm. This is a very popular bait on the market, and a lot of the colors are extremely interesting, so I had to pick up a whole bunch. So for colors, we have green soda peach. This right here is going to be a nice dirty water shad kind of profile. And I went ahead and picked up two of these. Then this color right here is fluorescent shad. It's going to have that purple body with a nice little green tail. Really nice looking worm profile. And I picked up three of these. Then of course I had to get purple fire for reasons that don't need to be respoken. Really nice looking purple body and then it's got that fire tail. And lastly we got Bama Bug. Just to have something that will be a little bit more versatile whenever I need to go fishing in dirty, clear, stained water or I'm unsure what I'm dealing with. But it's got that June Bug on one side and it's got Green Pumpkin on the other. And again in total we picked up seven packages of these and they do have a 10 count to them. So 70 worms. Totally worth it. So still staying on the topic of the plasma tail, but we've gone up a size. This right here is the 6.5 inch instead of the 4.5 inch that I just showed earlier. So the 4.5 inch is probably going to be better on a drop shot as opposed to the 6.5 can be rigged on a shaky head. You could rig them on an EWG style drop shot. You could rig them on a Texas rig. Many different ways you could rig this bait, but two really interesting colors that we got is going to be watermelon red flake and it's going to have that fire tail on it. So I'm a big fan of that. And then I decided to rock out with that black light color again, just because I was such a fan of it on the vile craw. Quick thing to note about these bigger sizes is they only come with an 8 count instead of 10. So we picked up 4 of them, times 8, we got 32 worms. Now if you're wondering, that's really nice, you got a finesse style worm, but we need something to wacky rig. Well they got you covered as well with the exo stick, and this color right here is going to be white silver fleck. The main reason why I got white silver fleck, again to be redundant, is for bed fishing and sight fishing, but also I don't see a lot of plain white Senkos, and then I don't see a lot of plain white Senkos with silver fleck in it. So to me, this just stood out immediately, and I realized I could probably use them to bed fish pretty effectively. One quick thing to note about this worm is it can be rigged on a shaky style head, Texas style rig. It's not meant to only be wacky rigged, but if you've seen it rigged wacky style, then the underwater movement on this, it almost wants to roll backwards and jerk back and forth. So it's a little bit different than a wacky worm. I'm sure it's going to have moments where it's going to be really effective and work. But I only picked up that one package just because I've never tried it before myself. And I'd like to get my own experience firsthand before I make a decision and buy like 15 packages of some things. Now the Yoda worm on the other hand, that makes money. Staying on topic with worms, we got the Exo Ribbon. And this is basically their just take on a nice Texas rig style curly tail worm. This color right here. I'm sure it's pretty obvious. We got watermelon, red, black flake, and then we got an electric blue. So it's going to have a black and blue style body with an electric blue sapphire kind of tail. Really nice looking bait. Again, it's got that curled style tail, so it's probably going to kick, drag through a lot of water. And as well, they're going to have it in two different sizes. So going up a size, this is the seven inch. We have the 10 inch right here, and we picked that up in June bug. These only come with six to a pack as opposed to eight in a pack like these smaller sizes do, but it's still really nice looking big style profile worm. It's got a lot of meat, so it's going to help hide a thick gauge wire hook. Lastly, for Biospawn, we got a whole bunch of exo swims and a whole bunch of different variety, colors, sizes, and all that. So let me take some of these out and show you what I got. So going from smallest to largest, we have the 2.75 inch right here. It's going to be a perfect style finesse little swim bait. Probably works perfectly if you're fishing for crappie, panfish, but as well works perfect if you're fishing for bass in those finesse style presentations, or maybe you're just fishing cold water, extreme kind of temperatures. Really nice finesse style profile and really nice colors as well. 
Not to mention with how many they come with, it's totally worth it. So this right here is just going to be sexy shad. It's got that blue top, clear bottom with some gold fleck in it. Chartreuse pepper. What you know about that chartreuse pepper? Then we got goby smoke. It's going to have a green pumpkin, kind of purple and orange fleck running through it, as well as like a smoky black fleck bottom. Just a nice plain pearl flash. Can never go wrong with a plain little white swim bait. Sungill, probably my favorite color in the uh, entire Biospawn lineup, other than that black light that I showed y'all earlier. It's like most baits you find don't have a lot of gold fleck in them, especially whenever they're blasted through to this degree, where they legit just look like a sunfish. And then lastly, we got it in electric shad. Then just slightly going up a size, we have the 3.25 inch. And again, these come with eight to a pack still. So you're not losing out on any baits, but you're just getting a bigger profile. If you want to use it as a trailer, if you're looking to get a little bit of a bigger bite. But again, we got it in that sungill color. Electric blue and chartreuse. This will work perfect in most of the bodies of water that I fish, mainly because they're stained and dirty. So this is going to stand out perfect. I just went ahead and picked up two of each because I know I'm going to burn through them using them on an A-rig, a trailer, single jig head, whatever it may be. I'm sure I'm going to use them. Going up one more size, we have the 4-inch XO Swim, and this color right here is again that Gobi Smoke, so hopefully y'all can see it a little bit better. It's got that smoke side, top side is going to have that green pumpkin, purple fleck, almost like an orange fleck as well running through it. The 4-inch is going to pair perfectly on a full-size spinnerbait, or if you like to fish your swim baits weedless, this will probably be perfect to rig up on like an owner screw lock. Then going up to the biggest size that Biospawn has to offer in the XO Swim, we have the 4.75-inch, and boy these are huge. This right here is an electric shad. Again, that sexy shad. Really nice looking color. And then we got green gizzard shad. The top is going to have a green body, and then the bottom is just going to be pearl. Three really big, nice looking bait fish profiles. Probably end up fishing them alone on like an owner screw lock or some sort of a jig head. That completely does it for Biospawn and 10,000 fish. I think the last box we have is the Carl's Clearance Baits. Starting out with the clearance, we got some terminal right here made by Stickies. These are just going to be some round bend 6 aught treble hooks that come with 7 to a pack. And these are just going to be some round bend worm hooks that are going to be a 4 aught. And again, 7 to a pack. So these right here I'll probably use as replacements on some crankbaits and finesse baits. And then these right here I'll probably just use as a Texas rig and whatever else I need to do. Staying on the topic of terminal, right here we got the Wu Tungsten brand. And we got some Carolina barrel weights. So these are going to be a 3 8 ounce black. And then these are just going to be some red beads. And you can pair these perfectly together, especially uh, because these are plastic beads and this is tungsten. Whenever you're using tungsten, you always want to make sure you're using some sort of a plastic bead, not glass, because the glass bead will break and then it'll probably cause your line to split. Um, also, you're just littering at that point. But again, we got the tungsten never chip 3 8 ounce barrel weights to pair perfectly with these little ruby red plastic beads. This is another brand by Catch Coast, the hard hat jigs. And this right here is just going to be the rear loading swing jig essentially just a swing head. It's going to come in a four aught, and I believe that the size I picked up right here is going to be like a half ounce, but I'm not sure. Three fourths ounce, excuse me. Three fourths ounce, so it's going to be a little bit heavier. I'll probably use him whenever I'm fishing off a ledge or something, some sort of a steep bluff wall. Um, really effective bait. You pair him with a creature bait. Another brand by Catchco is going to be the Heavy Metal Tungsten brand. I got a whole bunch of their terminal weights and jig stuff, so right here we got some mushroom jig heads, and these are just going to be a nice finesse style tungsten jig head. Then I got two packs of flipping weights, both in one ounce, and this is going to be black and then green pumpkin. So I got a nice natural color I can pair with my natural colors, and then I got a nice dark color I can pair with my dirty water colors. I picked up one of their flipping jigs in the color Summer Craw. This is a half ounce with a 5 aught hook, and again, the head is tungsten, so it's going to be a lot more downsized profile, helping you get in and out of cover, as well as it's going to give you a lot more increased sensitivity. And then I picked up one of their punch rigs, just in case I wasn't feeling like flipping and pitching a jig. This guy will pair perfectly on whatever soft plastic and hook that you're already using. And again, it's going to come with that tungsten jig head, so it's going to be a little bit more finesse profile. And this is a three-quarter ounce PB&J. Lastly, for skirted baits, we have the Tightrope Baby Firework Super Jig. And again, this is essentially just going to be a nice finesse style profile on a jig. Quarter ounce. This right here is going to be in black and blue with a two-aught hook. Then we got that summer craw color again. So it's going to have one kind of green chartreuse side. The other is going to be green pumpkin. And then this color right here caught my eye almost immediately. It's just going to be your standard pink. Whenever I saw this color, I was dying to have it just because I knew this would work perfectly for smallmouth fishing as well as bed fishing. I've never seen a pink jig before, and I just figured it would be really difficult to get my hands on it if I didn't. But again, this is another company that's under the Catchco brand, and I'm a huge fan of these colors. The rest of this stuff is kind of random, so we're just going to kind of burn through it. 
We got the Johnson Beetle Shad. It's just a small finesse profile on a swim bait. We got the Strike Pro Super Quality Super Ice Sinking. Uh, it, it doesn't even, it doesn't have a name. This is like a jigging wrap, essentially. I'm pretty sure I just randomly threw this in my cart and wasn't even looking whenever I bought it because it was like 50 cents at the time on their clearance page. I'm sure it's going to be extremely effective in some sort of a jigging fashion over humps, uh, rocky points, main lake points, etc. Again, with this Strike Pro brand, this right here is the Swing Pop. At least they gave me a name for this one, but it's in the bluegill color. It says it's tournament grade. I have no clue if it really is. I've never really fished with Strike Pro, but I guess we'll have to find out for the channel. But it's a topwater. Essentially, you're going to fish it like a walking bait. But because of that bill right there, it's going to help it kind of walk and pop, I guess. And yeah, it comes in a 3 8 ounce, 3.5 inches, so it should cast pretty well. Next up, we got a couple traps, and this right here is the Cotton Cordell Super Spot. I'm sure you've heard of this. Basically, everyone has, but it was a really nice gold color, so I went ahead and picked it up for the low. And then I got another one of these Jenko rattle traps that comes equipped with a VMC treble hook. It's essentially like a line through rattle trap, and the color right here is Texas Craw, so... I was a fan of it whenever I first fished with it, so I figured I'd pick up another one. I picked up three of these Lucky John Makura swim baits. Essentially, it's just like a gold kind of yellowish body with a purple top and some realistic looking little eyeballs. I picked up one pack of these Big Bite baits that are saltwater paddle tails. I didn't realize that when I picked them up, but I'm not really complaining because I'll still probably use them whenever I go fishing on the coast. And lastly for Carl's baits, we got some Carl's baits. We got blue craw right here. This is just a plain kind of craw. I'm gonna take one of these out of the package just to show you, but they do come in a clamshell and they are soft up. Like my fingers are greased up almost, oh gosh. See, it's like slipping out of my hands. For the price that I got these, for these to come in a clamshell packaging like these, that's a huge bonus right there. And then we got Texas Crawl right here, which one side's gonna be orange, the other side's gonna have a really nice dark, almost a green pumpkin kind of body. And it's just gonna have red and gold fleck running through it. Well, that completely does it for today's unboxing. I can't believe how many baits I went through. I'm going to have to clean all this up. But if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment, letting me know what I could have done better, what you would have appreciated, what baits you liked looking at, and what you would like to see a little bit more thoroughly. If you're looking to find any of these baits or colors, all of that information will be linked in the description box below. So just make sure you're checking that out. I know this was a long one, guys, but I hope y'all enjoyed it. I really enjoy making these unboxings for y'all, and I'm sure I'm going to enjoy fishing this stuff as well. So thank you guys for spending your time here with me. I really appreciate it. Shout out to everyone that watched this video all the way through to this point. I really appreciate everyone that does that, mainly because it makes me feel more supported to continue making these kind of videos, and it lets me know that y'all are enjoying it. Again, that's it for part six of the world's biggest unboxing, 10,000 Fish, Bio Spawn, and Carl's Clearance Edition. I appreciate y'all for being here this long and for staying with me. Make sure y'all are staying tuned for part seven of the world's biggest unboxing. And until then... Keep on fishing.